So I won 17 Grand Slam titles and two Olympic gold medals in my career, but in a five-year period, I won 14 Grand Slams, which is as many Grand Slams as Venus and Serena have won, and one less than the Bryan brothers, but they did it in a 25-year career. So that one period of five years was pretty special. I tell players that they need to follow their passion, even if they're not a tennis player. Whatever your passion is, that's what you have to follow. You don't want to spend your lifetime doing something you don't enjoy. So I grew up in Puerto Rico in the 60s, and girls were born and raised to get married and have kids. There was not another professional female athlete in any sport that I could look up to. So I was the first female professional athlete in all of Puerto Rico. So in a way, I had to blaze my own trail and subsequently became the Puerto Rican female athlete of the century at the end of 1999. So pretty proud of that. Gigi Fernandez, 2010 class of the Hall of Fame. That was the first Puerto Rican to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. You never think that you could be in the Hall of Fame. But when it actually happens, when you get the phone call, it was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to be in the Hall of Fame. And this is for posterity, forever and ever. I'm a tennis Hall of Famer. Probably the second best day of my life after my kids being born. One thing that I feel really made me successful was that I never took no for an answer. Losing to me was a no. If I lost someone, I'm not losing again. I'm gonna figure out a way to beat this person the next time. Excellence is getting up every morning with a smile on your face, doing the best you can, giving 100%. You're not always gonna be perfect, but it's that will to get up when you've fallen and coming back over and over again and continuing to strive to reach your goals. Work harder, try harder, improve yourself, and you can achieve anything you want.